From one and a half to three years of age, children face the second of Erickson's psychosocial crises, autonomy versus shame. During this period, children's mobility and thus the beginnings of their independence develop. Children exhibit preferences in play, learn to tie their shoes, to dress themselves, and to make choices about the clothes they like to wear. Erickson believed that caregivers must encourage independence, but also act as a protective factor from constant failure through reassurance and assistance as necessary. Successful navigation of this period of development earns the child the virtue of will, confidence and security of the child in his or her own abilities. Should a child receive harsh criticism, be overly controlled, or not be allowed the freedom of expression, feelings of inadequacy in their own survival skills develop, resulting in a life of low self-esteem and dependence on others. Erickson next described the crisis of initiative versus guilt, taking place during the ages of three to five years. It is during this period that children frequently play together, deciding with whom and to what capacity they will engage with their peers, including making up new games and play scenarios. Children will also ask many questions about the world around them. Given the necessary space and support, children go on to develop a sense of initiative and security in their abilities to make decisions and to lead others. This is the virtue of purpose. Should a child be overly criticized or controlled, the development of a sense of guilt may result, leaving the child feeling as though they are a nuisance to others, setting the stage for a life as a follower with no self-initiative. The third psychosocial crisis Erickson described is that of industry versus inferiority, which occurs between the ages of 5 to 12. Here, a child's peer group will dramatically increase in significance, becoming a primary source of self-esteem. The need to win approval of peers through demonstration of certain skills valued by society is first felt by the child, and a sense of pride is achieved from personal accomplishments. With the appropriate encouragement and reinforcement of initiative, the virtue of competency develops. A child feels a sense of industriousness and confidence in their ability to achieve goals. Failing the appropriate and necessary response, a child is left with feelings of inferiority and self-doubt. Piaget extends his description of childhood development to two stages. The first of which, occurring commonly from the age of two through the age of seven, sees the development of symbolic thinking. This means that a child is able to make a word or an object stand for something other than itself. A child may, for instance, pretend that a stick is a magical wand. Piaget considered the next stage of cognitive development to be a major turning point, as from ages seven to 11, logical or operational thought first makes an appearance. Children gain the ability to think problems through in their heads rather than physically trying them out in the real world. Arithmetic, for example, becomes less tedious and leads to the ability of doing more complex mental maths. During this stage of development, children also begin to understand conservation, that something stays the same in quantity despite a change in appearance.